Milo's Journey to Cloud Kingdom Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a curious boy named Milo. He spent his days looking up at the sky, dreaming of far-off lands hidden in the clouds. His grandmother often told him tales of the Cloud Kingdom, a magical place high above, where creatures danced on clouds, and the wind sang lullabies. One evening, as Milo sat by his favorite tree, he noticed something strange a shimmering ladder made of light stretching from the ground to the sky. Without a second thought, Milo grabbed his backpack, took a deep breath, and began to climb. Up, up, up he went, through the cool mist, until he emerged into a place he could hardly believe. The Cloud Kingdom was even more beautiful than his grandmother's stories. The ground was soft like cotton, and giant, fluffy creatures floated around, laughing as they played. Milo saw castles made of clouds, with towers that seemed to melt into the sky. But something was wrong. The usually bright and colorful kingdom seemed a little dull, and the creatures didn't he laugh as loudly as they once did. Milo approached a small cloud creature named Nimbus, who looked per particularly glum. What s happened here? Mi Milo asked. The sky diamond has gone missing. Nimbus replied with a frown. Without it, the colors of our world are fading, and soon the entire kingdom will disappear. Determined to help, Milo set off with Nimbus to find the lost diamond. They journeyed through the Valley of Whispers, where the wind told them secrets, and across the Sea of Stars where Milo used a boat made of clouds to sail through the twinkling lights. Finally, they reached Thunder Mountain, where the mischievous Storm King had hidden the Sky Diamond. With a deep breath, Milo faced the Storm King, who loomed large with a rumbling voice. Why have you taken the Sky Diamond? Milo asked bravely. The Storm King sighed. I was lonely. No one visits my mountain anymore. Milo thought for a moment. What if we invite everyone to come play here you can have a big party with all the creatures from the Cloud Kingdom. The Storm King's eyes softened, and with a flick of his wrist, he returned the Sky Diamond. A part, these sounds, fun. With the diamond back in place, the Cloud Kingdom brightened once more. Milo and Nimbus invited everyone to the Thunder Mountain party, and soon, laughter and joy filled the air. As the stars twinkled above, Milo knew it was time to return home. He waved goodbye to his new friends and descended the shimmering ladder back to his village. From that day on, whenever he looked up at the sky, he smiled, knowing the Cloud Kingdom was happy and full of life once more. And if you ever see a shimmer in the sky, maybe it's Milo, off on another adventure in the clouds. Thank you for watching. Subscribe us tile shot